Hello, my name's Luke Hebbs and I'm from RLR UK. Welcome to my sixth video demonstration of Trust Ears Rapport, showing you how it combats spyware on your machine. In this video demonstration, I'm going to be showing you a Revelation by Snadboy, which allows you to see the content of password fields or masked fields. Now, before I actually start showing you that tool, I need to explain a little bit about how login pages actually work and login dialogues work within your browser. So in order to do that, I've just created a very simple um, test login page here. So, as you would normally expect, I enter my username, let's just say Luke here, <clears throat> and I enter my password, which will actually be masked as this is a proper password um, field. So I'm just going to use a password of very secure. Now this is as you would normally expect in a web page. The problem with this is though, that that password is actually in plain text. It's just masked on screen so that shoulder surfers can't view it. It can be accessed programmatically in exactly the same way as any other text field and it will be in plain text. Now it doesn't matter whether you're actually doing this with a, an SSL encrypted channel to your web server or not. Within the browser it will not be encrypted. If you're using SSL, the data will only be encrypted when it's actually sent on the network, not while it's sitting in your browser. So, what happens here though? If I click the login button now, ordinarily obviously you would go off and actually submit that to the server and try and log in. Here I'm just going to show you that I could programmatically extract the data from there and display it on screen. So very simply I'm going to bring up an alert dialog box. So here it says, the username is Luke, as you can see there, and the password is very secure. So how does this actually work? I'll have a quick look at the source code just to show you that it's very very simple. I have um, an input of type password down the bottom there um, with an ID of P word. Okay that's going to contain my masked input but to show that it's actually just in plain text you can see at the top we have a JavaScript function that is just going to pick out the user ID and P word using a document.getElement by ID and get the value of that and output it to an alert. So it's very, very simple and all in plain text. So, how does Revelation work? Well, I just started up here. It works in a more sophisticated but very similar way. What we have here is um, the circle with a plus in the middle of it we can drag that over any text box to actually see what's in it. So here if I just drag it over there it says Luke obviously but we can read that. More importantly though if I drag it over the password field it correctly says um, that the contents of that field is very secure. Okay so that's on my little test page here. Now let's go and have a look at some real pages. And what we'll do is we'll go to uh, one of Trustee's um, trusted partners. Now at the moment Rapport is not actually installed on this machine. I just want to show you what happens um, first. So we'll go to HSBC and go to the login to personal banking. Now here it says um, welcome input internet banking user ID e.g. IB12345678900. Now, of course, as we type this in, I'm going to type in exactly that, IB12345678900. As we type it in, of course, we can see that. So um, there's no point showing you that, really, other than just to prove that you can see um, the, the user ID there. The more interesting thing comes, though, when I actually go to log in, I'm now asked to enter my date of birth. I'm going to enter here, just make up a date of birth. I'm going to the 12th of the 3rd. 1964 and then I'm asked to fill in the first second and fourth digit of my security number so here I'm just going to enter in one two and four now you can't see that ordinarily other than just a masked input but using revelation if I drag the cursor over the date of birth field you can see that it says one two zero three six four okay twelfth of the third sixty four also if I drag it over the security number, I get 1, 2, and 4, exactly what I typed in. Okay, now I'm going to install Rapport, and we'll try this again. Okay, as you can now see from the grey Rapport 
um, icon in the address bar there, Trustia's report is now installed on this machine. And it's version 1003.5. So let's just see this again. So I'm just going to use my little test page just to show that um, Snadboy is actually still working at the moment. So I'm going to type in the same username as before, Luke, and same password. Very secure. My little bit of code still works. Same username, Luke, password very secure. And again, if we use Snadboy, it's going to pick up Luke there for this one and very secure for the password. So let's now go back to one of um, Trustia's partner sites. I will go to HSBC. Log on to the personal internet banking. And again, we'll go through IB1234567890. And I'll go to log on. Now, again, it's going to say the date of birth. We'll use the same date of birth, 12th of the 3rd, 64. And the first, second, and fourth digit, my security number, so 1, 2, and 4. Now, if I use Snadboy's revelation, though, and I drag it over the date of birth, you can see that it's still red. It's very hard to see, actually. But there's a little tiny red um, dot there with the status revelation is active, but error during initialization. Okay, one or more web fields will be unavailable. So we can't get hold of the date of birth and we can't get hold of the security number. This no longer works. So Rapport is actually blocking Revelation from accessing the DOM, the document object model. And so it can protect the website against this type of attack. That's the end of my demonstration.